Don't give me all this garbage about, well, we're not sure if it's going to sell. We're not sure if it's going to work. Don't give me that crap. We deserve more stations. We beat Hannity in a number of markets. There is a pushback. They are afraid to put lefties on the air. So this is going to be very interesting to follow here in the next year. Okay, that's my Friday rant. Stay with us. Your calls are next on the Ed Schultz Show. Ed, you, you do a radio show out of Fargo, North Dakota, right? We're based out of Fargo. That's right. Syndicated nationally. And uh, tell me, in, you know, over the past year, I know that you've, you've seen your audience grow. Is that true? It is true. In uh, January of 2004, we started on uh, two stations, and now we're on 100. We're in nine out of the top ten markets. We're on Sirius Satellite, also on XM Satellite and Armed Forces Radio. And uh, we have the largest audience uh, in the country uh, for any progressive talk show. It's been a great uh, 28 months. We're in our 29th month now of operation. Uh, we're profitable. Uh, we're moving forward. We've knocked down a lot of dominoes in, in the industry where they said liberals couldn't talk. So we continue to move on. But we're starting to see, I think, some pretty scary trends uh, taking place uh, in the media right now. Well, tell me, what, what does that mean? Well, ownership is the key. And I think corporate ownership uh, is to be questioned at this point. Uh, we have seen uh, one major broadcast company, Clear Channel, come up, and they have, to their credit, put a number of uh, uh, stations in the progressive format category, although we'd like to see more. Other broadcast companies have not stepped up the way Clear Channel has, even at that minimal level. We've had some great rating successes across the country, but as I say, ownership is an issue. What we're seeing now is an influx of dollars from Christian-owned broadcasters to branch out. And uh, we've been told by a number of different sources that within the next several years, they're going to increase their holdings in ownership of AM radio stations across the country uh, to the tune of $500 million. So far, the Ed Schultz Show has been bought out uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, in uh, Missoula, Montana, and also Phoenix, Arizona. We've also been taken off the air uh, after people protested outside WSL in Salt Lake City after being on the air just two weeks. So what we're nervous about is that these Christian organizations are going to start targeting progressive talk stations, and instead of pe petitioning or protesting or picketing stations, they're actually going to go out and purchase the radio station and change the format and get the progressive talkers off the air. I think this is dangerous stuff. Now, are they doing this for profit or for any other reasons? Well, interesting you ask that because in Phoenix, Arizona, there are seven Christian formatted stations right now. We've been told that it's all, all has to be driven by the market. So why do they need an eighth Christian radio station in Phoenix? So it I think it tends to believe that obviously that they are out to purchase uh, progressive talk radio stations to get us out of the market. Uh, you can't find eight rock stations in any market or eight sports talk stations in any market. But all of a sudden in Phoenix we have this phenomena that there's a lot of Christian talkers down there. I think it needs to be investigated. Do your listeners know that this is happening? I mean, when you go off the market suddenly, do they know? Why? Chris, it's hard for me to go on the air and explain all this because it sounds like sour grapes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, if I don't speak up, being the number one progressive talker in the country, who is going to speak up? Uh, I can look any of these people in the eye. I mean, we're the number one show in Seattle. We beat Sean Hannity in Denver, Seattle, Portland, San Diego, Albuquerque, Miami, Madison, uh, uh, Fargo, Duluth. I mean, our show has head-to-head uh, -head in a number of markets beaten some big talkers. Uh, Seattle is the number one news talk market in the country, and our show is number one in that market in less than 18 months. So all this talk about how progressives couldn't do radio and how there was no audience and no one would buy any, in any uh, advertising, they, the industry simply got it wrong. But we have to focus on ownership. And uh, if you own the station, you can do anything you want with it. And I believe that there is a tremendous push by the Christian hard right to buy up the signals that progressives are on. And this is for ideological reasons? What else would it be? It's certainly not business. Is it good business to have eight Christian stations or is it good business to have eight progressive stations in Phoenix? Of course not. 
it is about ideology and it is about controlling the airwaves. And I think the American people need to make sure this gets addressed. What do you think the audience out there can do about it? Well, I would hope that people would understand uh, the intensity that uh, is out there pushing back on progressive talkers of America. When we first started, they said that uh, liberals couldn't talk, that nobody wanted to listen to it, that we couldn't get any ratings and we couldn't get any sales. In the last two years, the Progressive Talkers of America and the Ed Schultz Show, we have proven that to be wrong. We have started a whole new category. And there are a number of progressive talkers out there that are having success. I believe that this is a key issue about freedom of speech and democracy. If you control the message, if you own the media, you can do a lot of things in this country. And I think uh, for the negative right now, we want debate in this country. We want, we want fairness. We want an opportunity to go after the issues with some balance uh, in airtime. And right now, we don't have that. Right now in this country, there are 450 conservative talkers on a local, on a regional, and a national level. There are about 40 progressive talkers in the country. We're outgunned on the air right now by about, uh, we only have 10% of the audience, or, or should I say the listening time spent uh, in this country. Uh, the, the, we're talking about 43,000 hours a week of conservative talk programming to 3,000 hours a week of progressive talk uh, in this country. And it's outrageous. And now we're looking at a media ownership where conservatives are going up, buying up uh, progressive talk stations. I think it's dangerous stuff, and I think that the fairness doctrine at least has to be debated. And I also think the ownership issue has to be debated in the Senate as well. So I have made a pledge that obviously I'm a liberal, I'm a Democrat, I'm going to vote for a Democrat, but I will not support any presidential candidate who will not address this issue of media ownership and the fairness doc doctrine. We deserve to have this heard in the Congress.